Hi Twin Flames. Welcome to my channel Alchemy of Twins with me Kiki. This video is a Divine Masculine reading and we'll look at the new energies around Divine Masculine during this waning moon. So this is after the full moon. And I'm going to invite some good energy. I greet you in the love and light, the one infinite creator. We communicate now. Okay, so let's see what the new messages are surrounding Divine Masculine. I'm using the Morgan Greer deck for this. And the Star Seed Oracle, the Island Wellness Cards, and Moonology deck. Lord God, Source of Eternal Life and Truth, give Divine Feminine the wisdom, guidance, and counsel she needs regarding her Divine Masculine. Oh my Jesus, you said, Ask and we shall receive, seek and we shall find. Knock, and the door will be opened to us. You te vav hey, hey, left, left. Shin Olaf, hey. Okay, Divine Feminine. So this is his energy towards you this week. Ten of Pentacles. That's good. Oh no, with the Ten of Swords. Two tens. Two tens in the tarot means there will be a wedding. Maybe this is the end of pain. The end of a difficult phase within your relationship. Although the ten came, the ten of swords came after the ten of pentacles. Maybe for some of you, it's the ending of the connection. The connection is ending. He wants it to end. He wants to end something. Does he want to end? Courage. Live your life fearlessly with courage, strength, and determination. Maybe he wants to end his fear with the Ten of Swords. Maybe he's been afraid. He's been afraid to... What has he been afraid of? His energy is... With the Ten of Pentacles, it tells me that he wants to be in a relationship. He wants the relationship to be secure, stable, to endure, to go the distance. It's a long-term relationship card but then I pulled the ten of swords he also wants something to end regarding this connection but he needs courage live your life fearlessly with courage strength and determination heartbroken deeply hurt sad separation breakup feeling loss grieving mourning somebody's heartbroken here it could be you, or it could be him. Somebody's feeling deeply hurt, sad. There was some sort of a separation or breakup, feeling lost, grieving and mourning. Something ended here, or is ending with this Ten of Swords and heartbreak. So what is this courage all about? this courage all about hold your vision fixed moon so this is the in between the full moon and the new moon this would be last quarter or first quarter last quarter moon hold your vision he has some sort of a vision Let's see what the vision is about. Let's define masculine's vision. I feel like I want to find another tarot deck. We'll just keep pulling cards from this tarot deck. Okay, we need more clarifiers. What comes after the Ten of Swords regarding his energy? Wheel of Fortune. Wow, that's three tens. Holy cow. Ten, ten, ten. 
So, hmm. He needs courage to move forward with you. Something's happened in the relationship that caused heartbreak and sadness and feeling lost and separated and grieving and mourning. And he wants to turn it around. The Wheel of Fortune is a catalyst for change. It's what was down must come up what's up must go down maybe there was another person in the picture look at that the divine is turning the wheel and someone's being thrown out of the picture maybe there was heartbreak because there was someone in the picture maybe he brought someone into the picture and divine feminine was left feeling heartbroken and maybe another girl is going to be heartbroken because she's going to be thrown out of the picture Okay, but he needs the courage to reconcile, reconcile with you and hold the vision of that polarity, that the potential for union for the two of you, that perfect polarity, feminine and masculine, being an equal couple, an equal relationship, reciprocated love. But he may have a lot of fear with this needing courage card that... It's beyond repair, you know, the point of no return. Is this the point of no return for the two of you? Has what has happened been irreparable, Divine Feminine? I have a feeling, Divine Feminine, if you're watching the reading, you've already probably forgiven him. You've already forgiven him. And he's just needing the courage to step forward obviously, because you're watching the reading. And he's hurt you terribly here with the Ten of Swords. I mean, it's not going to get any worse than this, though. That's what I see, because this is, this is as bad as it gets. So whatever he did or didn't do or said or didn't say, there was a third party. I want to spy. Let's look into that. Do we want to? I do. I want to know. Okay, so his energy is he's going to turn things around. That's his energy. I, that's what he's feeling. That's, his, that's what he's wanting, to turn things around. Okay, turn things around. For the benefit of the connection. For the benefit. But he needs courage. But he needs courage. Okay, so the vision is that perfect polarity, and then he needs courage. Let's just go on with the reading. We don't need too many details about the third party, unless it comes back to me. Okay, what's going on on the fifth dimension? Fifth dimension, higher self. What does this higher self say to Divine Feminine? What does the higher self want you to know? Wow, this is the fourth 10. Wow. Okay, so three tens mean you'll be published. You may move to another country. You know, in our world, maybe that means you move to another town or another city, another state. Maybe you go viral instead of getting published or you get famous or, or you... Your popularity grows, but this is a twin flame reading. So this would be for the connection, the couple. The couple goes public or gets popular or famous, right? With a three tens. And now you have four tens. So that's imminent success. Imminent success. But on the fifth dimension, something's been difficult here. What... What is this higher self trying to say here with the Ten of Swords? What is this higher self trying to say? Six of Wands. Don't give up. Keep going, Divine Masculine. You've got to push through. You've got to take it to the next level. Keep going. Don't give up. The Six of Wands is also a public victory. So these four tens. Four tens. It's like ten, 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 ten. This is something with this catalyst card, something big could happen. 
because now we have three tens. The higher self knows what's going to happen in the future. So I don't know why the higher self is struggling. The Ten of Wands. It's like the higher self knows that there's a struggle ahead. Like this isn't an easy fix, whatever's going on with the two of you. It's not an easy fix. It's not going to be easy for him to reconcile it. And it's not going to be easy probably for you to absolve him or the connection. But the higher self is saying... It's not going to be easy, but you will succeed. It will move forward. This too shall pass. You will forget this one day. Advancement. Yes. You will get to the next level with your divine feminine. A strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. So this is being propelled forward. This is a victory. But the it's... It's not going to be easy with the Ten of Wands. He does need the courage there to follow his heart. Because his heart says, my heart is broken without her. It feels lost without her. And so he feels lost without you. So he needs courage to reconcile the two of you. Reconcile the two of you and move the relationship forward because these are all forward movement cards so it's like it's all rests upon him the ability to turn it around turn it around but the divine is giving him a little push because that's what the wheel of fortune is it's a it's a push. The, that's the divine's hand on the card, pushing him, pushing the two of you back on top. So the divine will help you forgive and help him to reconcile your differences. Reconcile your differences. The higher self knows you end up together. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. He feels also that you are, you've forgotten about him. You're not thinking about him so much. So when he searches for you on the fifth dimension to try to connect with you, it's not as easy for him to connect with you, Divine Feminine, because you are maybe just living like you're single. You're living like you're single. Maybe you've detached or moved on or you're not clinging so much to him. You're living more in the moment and trying to enjoy yourself. And, and that feels difficult for him too because he, he feels lost without you. He feels lost without you and he wants the two of you to be back on top. What do you need to release the waning moon? And this is a waning moon reading. What does divine masculine believe he needs to release? Or what has his higher self told him that he needs to release? Ace of Cups. He needs to release his feelings over to you. He needs to release all this love that he has repressed and denied himself and pressed so far down into his subconscious and closed his heart off so much that it needs to now be released, opened, open his unarmor, I mean, unarmor his heart and open it up and let the love flow. That's what his higher self is telling him. You've got to, a strong energy is propelling you forward. Follow the stirrings of your heart. He has so much love pushed down inside of him for you that when it's going to like burst like it's going to break open the dam of his heart and move him forward in an advancement here with you things are going to advance 
because this higher self is now directing him to to advance with you. Okay, so his energy is he needs courage to advance with you. And a lot is riding on his courage and the way he's able to reconcile it. So let's continue on with this reading. I also have love messages, spiritual advice cards for you, Divine Feminine, regarding this reading. Also, what he's ha what's happening with him spiritually and additional oracle cards as we go deeper into your reading. So let's find out what you are unaware of. We're going to ask, what are you unaware of? How is he relating to you on the third dimension? How will you respond? And what can you expect to happen? Like, how does this play out? So one thing you're unaware of is the Eight of Cups. And this reading is available on my YouTube membership. The, which level is this? This is the Divine Masculine level. This is on the Alchemist level. And also you can watch it on Vimeo. So Divine Masculine is on a spiritual quest. He's seeking the Holy Grail, which is, this is reconciliation. This is the dove of peace. And the lotus flower, it blooms in the mud. That's you. You're the lotus flower that despite all of the heartache he's caused you, you still bloom. You still give off your beautiful fragrance and you're like the goddess and that lotus is your throne and he doesn't want to come to you on your throne without an offering he knows that he has to find the holy grail and offer it to you because you deserve nothing less than the holy grail it's the sacramental drink it's his blood sweat and tears it's proving his love to you Proving his love to you. Okay, so he wants to prove his love to you. He knows that there's no other way. There's only one way, one path, which is the path of love. And the only way he's going to find his way back to you, because he says he's lost, is love. Love is the way home. Love is the way home. But he's got lots of helpers. He's got like all of the superheroes here to help him <laughs> the infant of Prague, the marvel characters like his favorite superheroes are helping him whoever they are <laughs> i don't know them all but yeah there's some there and they're helping him to muster up the courage to face you again to face you that's the dark night that he's going through is can I face her? Will she look me in the eye? Will she ever look at me that way again that she used to look at me when she loved me? Have I lost her affection forever? So he's definitely struggling there. Mask. Yeah, he didn't show you his true feelings, Divine Feminine, and he knows that he's going to have to face you, take his mask off. And he, you know, he he didn't express his feelings, and then you might have detached from him, and then he went after somebody else to bandage that. You, you left him, but you left him for the right reasons because he wasn't showing his feelings and then he went after somebody else and he did the same thing probably to them he's not going to show his feelings to anybody but he knows that with you he's got to show you your his feelings because he feels lost without you and it's easier for him to pretend he doesn't have any feelings, to gaslight you, to act like he doesn't have any feelings. He's mastered that. He's the master of manipulation and he's the, he's the ultimate player. 